Let's jump right in today with the first way to have terrible hair. Insist you're using good products even though you aren't getting good results. If you are using the right products, by definition, you will be happy with your hair. This is what I like to call ex-boyfriend syndrome. When we're young, we all have that first boyfriend or girlfriend, and at the time, we think they're amazing. They come from a good family, they understand us the way nobody else does, and we're gonna marry them because there's no way we could ever find anyone else who's good on the entire planet. But now, looking back years later, we're like, e I'm not sure what I ever saw in that person. That's kind of embarrassing. I can't believe I even dated them in the first place. It was impossible for you to ever have proper perspective because you just hadn't seen that much of the world yet. And hair is the exact same way. You probably think your products are amazing. You probably think your tools are amazing, but how many have you really tried? I've tried a lot and I really recommend you check the description for my link of recommended products. Another great way to have terrible hair is don't put anything on it after you get out of the shower. So you just wash your hair, you just got out of the shower and you're like, do I want good hair or do I want terrible hair? You're like, let's do terrible hair today. The best thing you can possibly do is not put any product on your hair. Just leave it as it is and let it air dry. It works really well because all the moisture in your hair is gonna completely evaporate. The conditioner you put in your hair, all that moisture is gonna be completely gone and your hair will be super dry. You'll love it. But for all the weird people out there who want nice, shiny, pretty hair, Here's what you can do. You need a healthy hair routine that you should be using every single time you get out of the shower on wash days. And the thing is, a healthy hair routine is like the easiest thing in the world. It takes you like five minutes after the shower and you shouldn't be washing your hair every day. So it's like five minutes every three to five days. And having a healthy hair routine is super easy. If you have a friend who knows exactly which products to get, you probably only need two products and it takes you five minutes after the shower. If you're not sure what a healthy hair routine looks like, if you're not sure what products should go in there, I'll leave a link with the two products that you need in the description. This is a really good one. Get a trim every six weeks. Now I know what you're thinking. You're like, Chris, I need terrible hair. How is this gonna get me terrible hair? It works like this. You're gonna go in and ask for just a trim. Don't take any length off, just a little bit at the bottom. And your stylist is actually gonna take this much off. So every time you go in, it's gonna get a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter, a little bit shorter. Next thing you know, your hair is gonna be up to your chin. So it's a really easy way to get terrible hair because you just cut it all off and you don't even have any. If for some crazy reason that doesn't sound good, I would get a trim more like every 10 to 14 weeks. Don't feel pressured into getting it every six weeks because your hair is only going to get shorter. And if you're actively trying to grow your hair out, I would wait even longer than that. I would really only get a trim when you really need one. The only thing about that is you need to be prepared for pushback from your stylist because they want you to come in as often as possible. Don't feel bad at all about saying, oh, I don't need a trim this time. Just refuse. This next one is a really good one and it is style your hair without using any products. Naked. That's what your hair is when it doesn't have the right products in it. People do not realize how important products are when styling. You're probably used to getting styling products from the same place that you get your groceries. That's not the way to do it at all. If you're trying to recreate the look that your stylist gave you, you're not gonna get it from the grocery store. So let's pretend you want terrible hair. The key here is to when you're blow drying or whatever, don't put any products in there. That way you can be sure it's nice and frizzy. And because it's frizzy, it's not going to last very long. So say goodbye to longevity. It's also not gonna be shiny because it's frizzy. So say goodbye to that. That's two for two on terrible hair. The next thing is you're gonna have to wash it pretty soon because it's gonna look so bad and feel so gross because it had no longevity. That's three for three terrible hair. Now for all you Debbie Downers out there who are like, well, what if I don't want terrible hair? What if I want good hair? Okay, I got you. You just use a regular blow dry product when you're blow drying. You should have heat protection built in. Any good one is already going to have heat protection built in. And then when you're using an iron, you just can use an iron heat protectant. Those are really the only two products you need for styling. Listen to people with genetically perfect hair. This is one of my favorite ones because it's so easy to get trapped in. There's some people out there who are just genetically gifted with perfect hair. They can do anything, use any product, style it in any way, and their hair is still going to look amazing because they basically won the genetic lottery. There's nothing these people love more than making video tutorials on stuff like Instagram and Facebook because they really do have amazing hair. They have full face makeup, they have a selfie light, and really watching it, the whole thing is just glorious but here's the thing nothing in that video is going to help you at all because you don't have one in a million hair the reason it doesn't work for you is because they can literally do anything they can use mayonnaise as a hair product put it all over the hair and it'll still look amazing so if you want terrible hair go in your bathroom and get your iron or whatever tutorial that you're watching and copy it exactly as they were doing it themselves and it's not gonna work out at all it's gonna look terrible which is exactly what you're going for so easy 
But if for some strange reason you want great hair and no judgment, if you want great hair, what you should really look for is somebody who had mediocre hair and then got their hair to be amazing. Somebody who had to struggle and learn bit by bit to actually get that amazing hair instead of somebody who was just born with it. The next way to have terrible hair is to wash your hair just once with dollar store shampoo. What is dollar store shampoo? That shampoo that you get at CVS or Walgreens or the grocery store, Target, places like that. So you're at your Piggly Wiggly getting some milk or Pop-Tarts or whatever you want and all of a sudden you decide, ooh, I'm gonna try and recreate that look that my stylist did. She made my hair look amazing. You are right on track to have terrible hair because I guarantee you, your stylist did not buy her products at the Piggly Wiggly. They're low quality products that will not remove the gunk and build up from your hair. And because of that, all your other products aren't going to be able to work because your hair is coated with oil and build up. The other products can't get up in there to actually attach to the hair and get the reaction that you want. And I know this isn't the video, but if you do want good hair instead of terrible hair, you should really try professional products. You'll be shocked by how differently your hair will feel. It'll be much cleaner and all the products will be able to go right up on your hair, adhere to it, and give you all the results. Constantly touch your hair up with an iron. This is a really great way to get terrible hair. Your hair wants to be lazy. The last thing it wants is every single day get poked and prodded by a 400 degree iron. Let me tell you something I call the hair iron death spiral. And yes, I know it's a little dramatic, but follow me on this. It works like this. You do your curls in the morning and then later that night, you're like, oh, I need to touch them up. You wake up the next morning, you're like, oh, I need to touch them up. There's no way to use an iron every day without doing damage. And over time, the damage builds up and it gets even harder to get your hair to look good. So what do you do? You actually have to use even more heat to get it to look good. And more heat means more damage. And more damage means you have to use more heat to cover up the damage. And you can see where it's a spiral. Amazing way to have terrible hair. So if you want terrible hair, it's a great way to do it. Or if you don't want terrible hair, the key to doing iron work without doing any damage is of course, use heat protectant, but really wait at least three days before touching your hair with an iron again. And the next one is let your hair air dry first and then try to style it. Most people don't understand this because they don't realize that water is the key to styling hair. Water creates styles and water destroys styles. Hairstyles are held together by bonds and water breaks those bonds. That's why when you get in the shower, your style is instantly gone. That's why your hair frizzes when you get in the humidity. Water breaks the bonds in your hair and kills the style. You probably already knew that, but the reverse is also true and here's the interesting part. Whatever shape your hair dries in, the bonds are going to form in that shape. So it's gonna to wanna to stay like that. That's why a blow dryer works. Your blow dryer dries your hair in a particular shape and that's why it looks so different than it does when you air dry your hair. So when you go in and try to style air dried hair, the bonds are already formed. The shape is already there. So when you try to go in with a blow dryer or whatever you want, you're fighting against nature and it's gonna to wanna to go back to whatever shape it was dried in. You're not gonna get a good style on air dried hair. If you want a shortcut to terrible hair, this is the one for you. Try to go blonde, really, really fast. So this one's really easy. Here's what you're gonna do. Go to your stylist and tell them that you wanna go platinum blonde as fast as possible. They're probably gonna be like, whoa, let's slow things down. It's gonna take a while to get there. So let's do this slowly. But if you really want terrible hair, you need to say, no, I need this done today. Let's do it right now or else I'm gonna find another stylist and you need to be like real sassy about it so she feels like she's pressured. Trust me, your hair will be nice and terrible really quickly after that. But if you don't want terrible hair, take this advice. Go slowly, whatever your stylist says. If they say it's gonna take six months, take six months. If they say it's gonna take longer, do it. Don't rush the process or else you'll really damage your hair. I worked really hard on this and I hope I did a great job of teaching you how to have terrible hair today. If you want any of the links, they're in the description. If you have any questions, leave a comment and I'll make sure to get back to you. Thanks guys.